Alright, just making a little video about tips and tricks of using the Harbour Freight Manual tyre changer. So the first thing I did, I bought a, a box of these drop-in anchors. I bought the half-inch ones because you get a bit more stability, and I got the bolts for them. The reason I got a box, um, it was cheaper rather than getting a pack of four, and also if I put drop-in anchors here, also outside, I can move it to different places. With the half inch anchors you just have to make these holes a bit bigger so the bolts go through because as it comes they're not quite big enough but it's a good investment, it's absolutely solid, you can stand on that. So the next thing I want to mention is if you take a look at the product description it's only rated up to 16 inch rims but you know I've done up to 19 on this, it's just fine, it just really depends on the tools. So this bar that it comes with, the tyre bar, this end works really well for getting the tyres off. The problem is when you try and get them back on the rim. This little end here is absolutely shitty and crap. You really need a better tyre bar. If you don't have a better tyre bar, you can kind of use this end and use these helping hands, which really, uh, they work great actually. So it's actually having a spare pair of hands as you reseed it on the rim. They work really well, they're great. Uh, these are about $20 for two, so 10 each. Uh, yeah, they're great. They're really good. They work really well. Uh, another thing, if you have a C-clamp or something like that, you can clamp the tire, squeeze it in, and that also helps too. And the last thing, lots of soapy water. Some people use WD-40 uh, tire lube, but soapy water works absolutely great, and it really helps. So I'm not going to explain how to take the tyre off, that's pretty easy, you know, break the bead, all that, loads of videos on that, but more like putting it back on, because that's the crux of it all. So these little helpers here, they just attach like this, like there, and you can slowly move them out as well to sort of work this last bit in. Depending on your alloys, um, they're prone to get red paint on them just because of the way it's designed. You, you can kind of scuff them up quite a lot. So if you don't have wheels like this, uh, use some masking tape and things like that. It also helps to put some tape on the end of here as well so it doesn't leave paint and scratches on your alloys. So get your soapy water and spray it all the way around, all the way around the edge, all the way underneath. And it really helps with getting the tyre back on and seated. Then what we're going to do is just going to get this crappy tyre iron that came with it, slide it in and slowly work it around. As we do that we're going to move our helping hands a little bit closer so the uh, it remains below the alloy rim there. So what we're doing now, we're just getting our crappy tyre rod that came with it, just poke it in this way, nice and near the edge and just push it in. And we're just going to lift, just like that. You see the tyre pops down a bit and then we're going to get our helper and just scoot our helper along. So you can see now we've just scooted the helper along and we're going to keep repeating that till it's seated on the rim. So we've repeated that process twice now and we're almost there. If you don't use these helpers what tends to happen as you try and push this in again this comes out but you can also scratch the underside of the tire where it meets the bead and you can actually damage the tire so it's highly recommended to get these helpers or an extra pair of helping hands that's even cheaper. Alright you ready for the most satisfying sound in the world? Ah, oh, beautiful and the helpers um, we only went about halfway with them, that's, that's plenty enough to get the uh, tyre back on the rim. And this is a 17 inch uh, rim as well, very easy. So it's not that the tyre change is bad, it's great, it just doesn't come with all the tools you might need to get the tyre back on the rim. That's the only problem I've had with it, so as long as you get a couple of helpers, it's really easy. This is a 17 inch rim, we got it on no problem. I just recommend avoiding this end at all costs, it doesn't really work with low profile tyres and um, sometimes big rims, it really depends, but this tends to just uh, eat away at the tyres and the rims, so I just avoid this end and just kind of use this one uh, with the helpers to get on and to get off this one, it, it works great, so cool, thanks for watching, I hope it helped you out. And these are linked in the description below so you can check them out. They help tremendously.